wanted to enjoy tiny canvases, the art of nails. dream come true for all of us at CND. We welcome all of you most sincerely. And I would like to start by first saying that tonight we are celebrating a very special anniversary. It's called the Ruby anniversary and it signifies 40 years of building a brand that is much more than product and profit. This gem was built on science, designed to meet the need that would empower the user to deliver excellence with intelligence. Think about what it takes to be a great nail professional and these amazing tiny canvases. You have to have an incredible left brain, an analytical brain, to be able to do precise line to stay within the boundaries of the treacherous skin folds and not touch them. <laughs> Lay it down so that the client doesn't tell you you missed a corner. We've all been there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Seal that edge so that we can indeed get two plus weeks out of shellac. The precision, the analytics, the sense of logic to be able to deliver such precision is astounding when you think about it. And then you think about the right brain influence, the creativity, the emotion, the imagination, the innovation to take liquids, what you saw in the exhibit, liquids, gels, gel polish, polish, and make magnificent, beautiful works of art. It's unbelievable. So in our display, we have avant-garde art artistry, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In our design lab, we have our R&D lab, where products are made, technology is born. In the design lab, we're pushing the envelope of what's possible in artistry. And we've really learned that on the fashion runways, when you paint a nail, the model, they're usually young and very nervous, they walk down the runway like this, <laughs> and you don't see a single digit. You do extraordinary nails, and they walk like this. They're 10 inches taller. They're more expressive. And guess what? They're not unlike all of us. You get a manicure. You get a fabulous work of art on your own nails. And the nail professionals in the room can watch their clients walk to the car, staring at their hands, striking a pose, getting into the car, going like this in the rear view mirror. And they too are standing 10 inches taller because they feel bush, buffed and polished. They feel precise and beautiful. That's the job we do at CND. That is the job that these amazing nail professionals do every day in their salons for women everywhere. <laughs> I have always found that the nail professional is really the most power powerful professional in the beauty salon. When you think about what they do, sitting across 18 inches across from their client, holding their hand, looking into their eyes, the honesty, the relationship, the sense of care and touch is irreplaceable. I believe they are the most powerful professionals in the salon. The power of influence, the power of care. Nail professionals in our industry change lives. They truly change lives. They allow people to feel elevated in what they do and how they feel. When we're talking about the CND 40th anniversary, I can't help but to hearken back to our founder, our visionary, my father, Dr. Stuart S. Nordstrom, where he had a vision given to him by a manicurist, back then they were called, who was astounded that my dad was using a liquid and a powder to make a temporary crown for her tooth. And yet it was white, it was thin, it looked natural. Back then the products used to sculpt nails 
were thick, they were yellow, they looked ugly. And she said, how? Please let me use what you're using. He went into the garage, went under the microscope, and discovered something amazing, that at the time, products were only single link polymers. He designed the first ever cross-linked polymer, made it thin and flexible, color stable and natural. But the most important lesson beyond science that we gleaned from my father is that he adored nail professionals. My dad could carve a mean filling, and he was proud of it. He was a dentist. So he would sanitize the area, clean the tube, pack it with material, carve a beautiful artwork. He was an artist. And when he met other, when he met nail professionals, he didn't speak at them or down to them. He raised them up on a pedestal. And he always said to me, Jan, listen to them. Exceed their expectations. Learn from them and service their needs with passion and love. From my dad 40 years ago. So we embraced when people say, what's the magic at C&D? What's that secret juice that you all drink over there? <laughs> it's this belief that we have raised the nail professional onto a pedestal. We love them, we admire them, we learn from them. We are humbled by their brilliance and we are so honored to be in their presence. It is amazing to see what has happened in the nail industry. 40 years ago, we didn't have gel polish. Can you imagine the manicure miracle that changed the industry? We started doing fashion weeks 25 years ago, and I couldn't wait to curate this exhibit because I'm like, remember those snake print nails we did for baby fat like 20 years ago? It is gonna be so awesome to pull those out and look at them again. We pulled them out and we go, whoa, dude, those suck. <laughs> shellac. We didn't have Vinylux. We didn't have Brisa Gel. We didn't have the technology, the science, the, the R&D team who is making new molecules in the laboratory every single day to revolutionize nail care. And all of you, our friends, our colleagues, our partners, our nail professionals, our artists, our collaborators. All of you share a philosophy with us at CND. That is the philosophy of excellence. We are not here to sell products. We are here to advance the state of the industry with technology, with art, by delighting our salon clients every single day. And we push forward every day in the lab, in the design lab, and in salons everywhere where we glean our greatest inspiration. So the pillars on which we have built this amazing gem, ruby gem of a company is first and foremost innovation. We know that with breakthrough science, it empowers intelligence for us to explore new ways, new paths, new opportunities. We base our education on our knowledge of science. Education takes, empowers the nail professional to take the knowledge of science and service their clients with intelligence, analyzing what's necessary, prescribing a custom solution. That's the difference between C and D and our tribe and every other company out there. We don't take products off a shelf and try to make a buck on it. We try to change lives. We try to advance the state of the industry. And we support the nail pros who are finding their own voice, their wings. <laughs> Look at nail pros today. Over 400,000 in the US alone, famous on Instagram, finding their fame, achieving their fortune. They are in the spotlight. 
what they do is absolutely magnificent because they embrace bold expression and creativity. They bring the art to life. So that's, that's C&D. But when I really think of what C&D is, C&D is you. C&D are the people who shared our vision, who understood the path. We always said C&D is not a product, it's a path. And all of you are here in when, one way or another because you believed in the vision, you traveled the path, you went with us arm in arm and, and went to the moon and, and beyond. Remember before my dad died, two years after we started the company, he sat me down, he said, Jan, you can do anything. You can go to the moon. He empowered me with a vision, the legacy of a beautiful product, the ability to inspire internally and externally in order to advance this industry and to do the right thing by everyone we worked with. We can go to the moon together, and I believe we have. And we couldn't have done it without the love and care of some of all of you, very important people. Most particularly, I would like to say thank you to my family. Yeah. My sister, Anne, Elise, Katie. Jim is on his way somewhere. My co-founder, Jim Nordstrom, Tommy Nordstrom, who ran our manufacturing. My husband, David Arnold, who I met, who I met probably 35 years ago. And it was love at first sight because he designed our first Sweeping Sea logo. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> But it's funny, every time I have a nail appointment, I come home, and it's usually midnight or one in the morning by the time my five hour nail appointment ends. And across the kitchen, he'll say, I think you're missing a lower arch on your, on your index nail on your left hand. He's an artist. And I took him to Russia with me one time where they do the most incredible architecture. And I've never seen David stay up all night analyzing the relationship between the upper arch and the lower arch and how it must be juxtaposed for per perfect wear and beauty. And I'm like, I know David, I'm in the business. You don't need to tell me. But David, I think, loves nails as much as I do, so I love you and thank you. <laughs> thank you. A long time, beautiful colleagues, um, I just can't say enough about the love and the heart, the vision you have put into C&D. I know that C&D has changed your life the way it has changed my life. And these are treasured memories that we will always cherish and hold dear. So thank you each and every one of you for your contribution to that. As I look around the room, I have to laugh because I then have to say, and then there were the parties. <laughs> I think we built this company on parties because, because we knew left brain, right brain, gotta go wild with creativity and have a good time. And we are known for our parties and that's where a lot of our memories, you know, you can't party with people that you don't like. <laughs> like it's just kind of foundational. And it's amazing how much love there is in the room, love and respect amongst all of us. Our, I would like to also thank um, the nail pros in the room, Team C&D, the amazing brand ambassadors, the VIP nail professionals in the room. You are a constant, every minute source of wonder to me. When you speak, my dad told me you have two ears and one mouth. You must do twice as much listening. I am in awe of each and every one of you. So thank you for every day. People ask me all the time, how did you come up with that idea? And I'm like, 
it's their fault. Like they're they they're the ones that bring the ideas to life. So thank you for that. And then our dream of having tiny canvas exhibit. When we were planning our 40th anniversary, I thought, okay, there are a bunch of things I want to do, but first and foremost, I want to have this amazing ex exhibit as an excuse to explain to the outside world who we are, what we do, take the lid off of the secret we have, right? Nobody knows. And But I'm so grateful that the executive director, Maria Miglioni, did I say it right? I got it. Maria, please stand. Believed in us and allowed us to occupy this beautiful museum. So thank you so much. I remember our first meeting. I'm like, hi, Maria. I knew Maria, but I'm like, I have this idea. And then I start laying all these nails on her and put that the corset. And I know that first meeting, I probably walked away and she thought, ooh, little cuckoo. <laughs> But here we are, we did it. It's amazing. <laughs> Our museum curator is Rhonda Gothro Gothrop in the house. Is Rhonda here? Rhonda, please go step forward a little so we can see you. <laughs> Rhonda um, has been our curator and our partner in bringing this exhibit to life. And I know it was a new subject matter for you as well. You embraced it with love and creativity. You really um, were an amazing partner. So thank you so much for your help. <laughs> and our amazing creative services team, where is Lisa Janone? Lisa, step forward. Lisa Janone, Narissa, Paul, where is Scott? Our incredible, step a little more forward and wave. Um, but without these amazing creative partners, Paul in the ruby red shirt, looking very foxy, Narissa and Swarovski, or Scott. Scott is hiding somewhere. Uh, well, you guys, i speechless when it comes to, um, couldn't do it without you, and yeah, love, love. So thank you, thank you so much. And our photographers, I just, Jen Greylock, just say hi. Jen uh, has shot every lookbook for 25 years, so every year. She was the, um, the, the um, originator of New York Fashion Week, Fern Malice. She was Fern's um, personal photographer and then became our photographer. Every nail in every lookbook, Jen Greylock has shot for us. You're amazing. <laughs> And our beauty photography, Sarah Silver, the magic maker. And Sarah, you can step forward a little. First of all, Sarah's an amazing photographer. She's a great collaborator. But she used to be, I'm sorry to tell secrets, she used to be a nail nibbler. And you got to check out her gold glitter nails. Girlfriend's got longer nails now. so. Thank you with all our love and heart and soul. You're, you're the best partner ever. And to our designers, to Johnson, Stephanie, our stylist, Canon, um, it really took an enormous a team huddling together to make all of this happen. So we are most grateful. And for not last and not least, but most important, uh, two things. The artists that are featured in our exhibit, I want to mention at the helm of this artistic group is our, I call her like the, I used to call her the President of the United States of America because she was so important that now I've had to change that to um, <laughs> the Empress of the World of Nails. Where is Shalina Robinson? <laughs> She manages, she guides, she leads, she supports, she works with all of our amazing artists, but without Shalina Robinson, no, this exhibit would not be possible. So thank you ever so much for all your contributions. And now my final 
final thank well, I have a million thank yous, but for this evening, my, my final thank you of the evening um, is my co-visionary. Um, the museum opened last Saturday night where a, a few hundred people, 400 people came, and it was unbelievable. The public, we got public reaction. People were like blown away. And I looked over at my, um, my collaborator. Actually, somebody in the group said, well, what do you do? Like, who are you? Are you the curator? And I'm like, no, I'm not the curator. Are you the docent? No, I'm not the docent. Well, who are you? And I'm like, I think for this exhibit and for the love of my company, I think I am the visionaire. So it's um, seeing possibility, taking my dad's advice, like shooting all the way to the moon, and then trying to get the group, trying to sell it in, get the collaboration, get common vision, because you can't do anything. I can hallucinate all day long. <laughs> but without a team and without amazing, amazing partners, it isn't gonna happen. And my co-visionaire and the co-curator of this show showed so much dedication, leadership, vision, hard work. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm completely blown away by this gorgeous, fashionable, creative, and very extraordinary young lady. And her name is Bridget Monke. <laughs> accomplishments, the learnings, the lessons, and tonight we celebrate the brand, but we also celebrate how the brand influenced us, and what we gain from this, this wonderful experience. Every single person in this, in this room, our family, your family, our friends, our colleagues, past, current, uh, have really um, shared so much. We've collaborated together, we've inspired, we've invented, we've partied. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for that, we all are so proud to leave our mark on the brand. But I will tell you,